Hi, Tim Skell here, ADB HVACR Application Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how to force an input or output to a test value on an ACH 580. Now I'm going to use the word force because that's the terminology that's in the drive. However, based on your controls background, you may choose to use the word lock or think of this as a lock or you may think of this as an override. So I'm going to force, lock, or override my inputs, whether that's an analog in, analog output, digital input, relay outputs, I can force all those things to a specific status, whether that's high, low, open, closed, or a voltage. So let's take a look at how to do that. So what I'm gonna do here on the screen on the right is click on menu, come down to IO, hit the right button, and now I'll be able to see the IO. So I'm gonna start with my digital inputs on top. As I scroll down, I'll see analog ins, analog outs, relay outputs, all my I.O. When you see a zero here, that's the current value. So digital input one, two, three, and five right now are all open and digital input four is closed, my safety. So digital input one is programmed for start stop right here. So let's take a look at that. What I wanna do is force that to be on. So I'm gonna simply come into here, select the box for forced input state, and I'm gonna edit that. And right now behind me, I have a demo case that I just turned on. It's an auto mode. So with an auto speed command of 34 hertz right now, it is now running. I will say that this, these forced functionality is not meant to be a long-term status. Uh, intentionally, we designed this so when the power cycle occurs, all forced inputs and outputs will all clear and go back to their, their real state. So forced values is intended for a troubleshooting, a commissioning, testing scenario only. I'm gonna go ahead and release the force. So I'm just gonna simply come up here and uncheck my box. I'm gonna go back, take a look at some other IO. I've got my digital input four here with my safety. So let's say I wanted to simulate what happens if my safety was to open. So instead of taking the cover off, taking the wires out or going over and tripping, physically tripping a safety, I can simulate it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this box. I'm gonna simulate it to be off. And immediately I get a start interlock one message letting me know that that safety is keeping the drive from being able to run. Go ahead and unselect that and release it back to its normal status. Let's take a look at what else we can force here. Going back to the rest of the main IO menu here, I can see the rest of my digital inputs all the way up through digital input six. I got my analog input. So let's say, for example, I wanted to simulate what, ha what happens when I get a 70% command. So a seven volt command, because I'm set up for zero to 10 right now. I can come down here and I can force my analog input to simply be seven volts or whatever value I'd like to do the test. And you can see that now my command is 42 Hertz because that is 70% of 60 Hertz with my drive setting up, set up for a 60 Hertz network right now. So again, I'm gonna unselect that and release it so it's no longer forced, no longer locked. Same thing for, I can do relay outputs. So as an example, relay output three is programmed to the drive is not faulted. So that way if it does fault, or if you have a power outage, like you or pop fuses, trip the breaker, this relay is gonna, gonna uh, trigger, basically de-energize. So what I wanna do is simulate a fault to occur. So I'm gonna go ahead and select here, come here and I'm gonna force my relay to be off. And behind me on my demo case, I just heard a click to let me know that that relay did indeed just click. So I can now look at my building automation system. Does the building automation system now acknowledge that this drive is just faulted? So a really nice, simple commissioning tool here unselect that, go back to the natural state, back out. I can do the same thing with analog outputs, just like my analog input I was able to command to a specific voltage. My analog output, I could command to a specific, uh, in this case, it's gonna be current because I have it set up for a four to 20 milliamp signal. So I'm gonna force it to be, let's say 10 milliamps. Now I can double check on my building automation system am I indeed seeing 10 milliamps? Because in this example, we're assuming they have an AO wired from the drive back to the building automation system. In this case, it's programmed for motor current for that status. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and release that. You can also see this, in this scenario, I have an IO extension because I have an extra plug-in card on this drive. So in that case, I have a fourth and a fifth relay in addition to a digital output. 
just like those other IO, I can go ahead and force those, those outputs to a certain state. So there you have it. If you ever need to force a input or output on an ACH580, go to this IO menu right here and you can go ahead and look at your specific input and set it up for a force. If you have any other questions, reach out to your local ABB Drive Specialist or ABB Application Engineer. Thank you.